Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick. It's crawling into Wednesday morning here now. Um, I've had a long, long day. Loads of jobs on today as well as trying to get stuff fit in, like exercise and things like that. So, not heading to bed quite yet. I've uh, got some stuff to edit still and I've got some articles to finish. Past deadline, so even squeezing this in is problematic. But hey, you know, let's get it done. So what I'm going to talk about is five different interface changes that you can make in Lightroom. So let us jump straight in with this now here. So here's a shot that I did of Museum of the Moon and I've done it with a Maggie light as well then. So I've set up my own colors inside it to do that so I can get a variety of colors as I go. So that's neither here nor there. We're actually gonna come in and we're gonna talk about the changes we can make. The first change we can see what we've got here is I've actually dragged this out already, but you can drag backwards and forwards on this once it turns into this, okay? Now, you might think that's cool, but if you hold down the Alter Option key, you can actually drag it out as far as you like. And where it's kind of useful is if you're in develop and you want to do something with a bit more precision, and um, having a longer slider can actually help you basically get a little bit more control, essentially. So you're able to tweak it a little bit more. If you're using a tool like the Loop Deck, you can probably get away without doing that. And of course, if you just drag it back, it'll just jump back to the normal location as well there. I do tend to keep it slightly wide. The next thing is you can change the background of your image. So you can right click here and choose white to black. You can't just do it here. You can also do it inside preferences. We're going to have to go for some of the other ones. So the next thing you do is you can change what's going on here, which is called the identity plate. And that's in the Lightroom menu on PC and in the edit menu on Mac. So you can jump to identity plate and you get two things with this, right? So we're going to go for personalized um, and that allows us to change this here. So I can use a graphical identity plate, which I've already set up here. The third thing you can do is you can change what's going on with these. OK, so what I can do here is because let's say I'm using this orange as part of my uh, my normal color scheme here. So I can go in, I can find an orange um, or use an eyedropper and take the orange from there. So now the other ones are a different color or I could swap them around and have these ones white and have the active one orange. So that's just the way. So I could just go in and grab that one there. And then for the other one, just make them white. Actually, just I drop on anything white, to be honest. That'll do. So I swap them. So the active one becomes orange, for example. I could also change to a different font if I wanted. And have a quick look at what's here. So I could do it like Geneva or something like that. Looks kind of similar Helvetica new. Some of these um, don't change until you uh, restart Lightroom though as well. Impact, so there we go. Impact is not really, really. But because I am showing you how to do all of this stuff, we're just gonna go for, is it Myriad Pro or Myriad Web Pro? Okay, so that is another change, pair of changes you can make. And to see the other ones, we said you can see it in preferences. So let's jump into preference, which is in the edit menu on PC. And um, when we talked about the, the fill color there as well, you can select it from there as well. And the secondary window and main window. And the other thing that I'm just going to show you here. Now you can do lights out and you can change the lights out level, but this is something separate to that. And that is that you can have end panel marks. So let me close down the panels by holding down the command key and clicking. Control key and PC, we get these little panel end marks. Now, if you want to put your own panel end mark in, you actually can. And what you do there is you choose go to panel end markers inside the Lightroom folder and you will drop them in here and you will have an option to do it from there. So you can have stuff like a PNG or a logo or something like that that can then show up here. Folks, so that's very quickly five little things that you can do to change the interface in Lightroom. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. I managed to hit 5,000, although it did kind of go up and down around it. And um, working my way towards 10,000 next as the big goal. Uh, I will be doing more videos. I've just been so much stuff on. And some of it's personal work, uh, doing loads of shoots and stuff like that. And the problem is that I'm engaged in the shoots themselves. So I just never remember to do behind the scenes stuff, even though I bought a, a removable K1 just for that. Just don't remember. 
and of course i've loads of work general work on as well so it's been kind of hard to fit stuff in i want to do more so folks thank you for taking time to watch this like the video if you did like it of course subscribe as i said and hit the notification bell and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching